it means someone from Poland to me. <laughs> my great grandmother um, came from Poland um, and she passed away a, a few years ago, but her, her last name was Rona. Um, and then my mom's side, um, my grandparents, one of my grandparents was uh, from Poland and their name is Michalik. Yeah, I've heard people say um, Polak in a negative way. When it's used derogatorily, it, it seems um, like uh, they're saying that uh, people from Poland are not as intelligent. When you hear the term Polak, or when you heard it before here, you know, living in the USA for 20 years of your life, 21, however old you are. <laughs> yeah. Um, did it ever seem how, like how did you receive it? What's the what's your associations with the word Polak? To me, Polak is the same as saying American. Really? Yeah. To me, it's just the same as American Polak. But then, since then, I think I heard from you that some people find it offensive. So I would never. Say well, it. we're starting with the comment that was posted on our vlog mm -hmm. about this actually being offensive. So you have zero negative connotations with that word? Yeah, if I said that to someone or about someone, I would not have realized it was supposed to be art, that some interpreted it as derogatory in any way. So um, to explore this subject a little farther today, we're going to get out there and actually ask some real American people, complete strangers, uh, about that term, Polak, whether they heard it before, what it means to them, and what do they think about this subject. I have a Polish last name. My real last name is Polish. Um, my father's family is the, the Polish. Ancestry. But you definitely were born here, you're 100% American. I was born and raised in Texas. Okay. What does the word Polak mean to you? Ooh, the word Polak. <clears throat> I always understood that it was only for Polish people to refer with affection to other Polish people. For outside of the community, my understanding of it is that it's derisive and derogatory. But I always remember being told that it was appropriate for a Pole to call another Pole a Polak. What about the Polish jokes? What do I... So when you would tell those jokes to me at the beginning of our relationship to give me examples, I just thought they were... Okay, what do you mean when you say those? You told me jokes that I had never heard before and they always seemed to insinuate that the Polish person was the stupid person in the joke. But to me, it wasn't, but to me, it wasn't about, um, to me, like, if you hadn't told me this is a continuous pattern that Polish people notice in jokes, I would have just thought it was some, like, team mentality. For instance, the Dallas Cowboys versus the Patriots. Whoever's a Patriots fan is always going to make a joke where the Dallas Cowboys are the suckers. <laughs> what does the word Polak mean to you? A person from another country that speaks a different language than I do. Well, it's a Polish person. However, when I was growing up, we made fun of different uh, nationalities. And you'd tell a Chinese joke or you'd tell a Russian joke. And Polak was typically, they'd say things like, how does a Polak tie his shoe? And you put your foot up on the bench and then you tie this one. And it's just a silly joke. So you did experience the Polish jokes. Sure. You oh, confirmed yeah. that this them. word had sort of derogatory meaning. Maybe a little, but um, not not as bad as some not as bad as some other nationalities it was just you know it was all good fun good clean fun not not being malicious or anything just it was a joke yeah yeah so um you heard more polish jokes in your life well just we told plenty and they're just they're just silly jokes and it would uh, usually imply a lack of common sense or or an imbecile but it doesn't necessarily, and, and you know, you didn't only do it to Polish people, but that was one when we were in grade school, you might say. So I have to be honest because I did come across that before, um, during my, you know, all the years in USA. And the funny thing is the first time I came across this was not when I lived here for good. It was in 99 mm -hmm. when I came here for summer vacation only and I stayed in Connecticut. Uh, with my distant family in there and I met some local people and they were awesome people. They were very nice 
But when the friendlier we got, the more open they were with me. And at some point they did say, you know, like there are those Polak jokes here and they don't present you guys in the best light. I was like, what do you mean? So it kind of was similar to, I guess, like every nation has jokes about other nationalities that they like to make fun of, you know? Yeah, like, but like I said, when I heard those jokes from you, or even if I ever heard them before, which I don't recall, I just thought it was people obviously making their nationality the smart one and whoever the joke was about the stupid one. But not that it was some pattern of like, like, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Not that it was some pattern of discrimination against Polish people or stereotyping. I just thought it was people choosing a team and their nationality was always the smart one. I never realized it was a stereotype. I'm second generation, so uh, I'm not as um, I'm not as offended by it because I had heard it growing up. But it, it is, you know, somewhat demeaning. Mm -hmm. But. Um, in, in general, I, I don't have as much issue as my parents had and my grandparents, mm -hmm. grandparents had. So that's interesting to me. You actually recognize this word as derogatory? Yes. That was sort of the, the inner city top, uh, type uh, of slang. Mm -hmm. that they, they Do you know mm -hmm. what the word Polak actually means in Polish language? Um, well, it's it's born of Poland, I think, isn't it? Simply it? means a person yeah. from Poland. B born of Poland, yeah. yes. Yes. Polish person. Yes. My parents were born in Poland. <laughs> that was the worst answer. You, you know, extrapolate on that. He said quick. <laughs> my <gra> he went to Cliff Notes Virgin. He asked for a novel. Okay, my great grandparents were born in Poland. There you go, say quick. <laughs> what does the word Polak mean to you? Derogatory. Um, it's, my mom gets mad, it doesn't bother me. She gets mad when she hears it? Yeah, my mom doesn't like it. Explain, please. I think she used to get called Polak when she was growing up. So, that's why my mom doesn't speak Polish, but her parents did, because she, I don't think she wanted to learn. Is it associated with the level of our intelligence? Why would people get mad called being called Polak? It you know was, what uh, Polak means in Polish language, right? Right, but it was changed into a derogatory sense when immigrants came over. So I think, I don't necessarily know the back history behind it, but it was always, it was like, you never heard, hey, you Polak, you always heard, hey, you, you stupid you Pola, Polak, you dumb Polak. <laughs> yeah. So you heard it because I think, I think it has something to do with, like, they were one of the last immigrants that came over. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like the, well, the Irish were always the mix and stuff like exactly. That, so. so it was like it was like it, it was it, it, we what whatever immigrant group came over. They all had a time, bad word. They for had them. a bad word for it. The so previous it's like, group had a bad word right. for the ones coming in. So it's like you know every nationality had their derogatory term, and for Polish people, like we would say Polak, jesteśmy Polak, jesteś Polak, but it turned into a derogatory term in terms of like you know. Yeah. You stupid Polak. Yeah. Did Polish people earn this reputation for themselves? Because why? Help me understand this. Did they was, over the years? I don't know why it became. You know, I don't know why it became. With, I, with, with stupid. Level of intelligence I don't know why. Stupid. I don't know where it came. Where that came from. I, yeah, don't. I don't either. Because I mean, we know historically, <laughs> we are some of the smartest people ever. <laughs> Każda osoba biorąca udział w tym filmie, poza mną oczywiście, była urodzona w Ameryce, tutaj w Stanach Zjednoczonych. Większość z nich ma jakieś tam polskie korzenie i jak wyraźnie widać, każda z nich potwierdziła, że słowo Polak faktycznie ma poniżające, negatywne znaczenie. Um, when people were coming over from Europe and there was this huge influx of people and uh, there were a lot of negative con connotations around that. They were taking jobs of people who were rightfully American. And I think now using the term Polak would be like my family using the word Dago or WAP to describe mm -hmm. their Italian her her heritage or culture or gay people calling themselves gay, it's reclaiming a word that people u once use to hurt you. 
and now making it your own so it can't hurt you anymore. Jakby nie było, my, sami Polacy, wiemy dokładnie, co słowo Polak oznacza. Zawsze je wymawiamy i będziemy wymawiać z dumą, ponieważ spośród wielu innych powodów wystarczy chociaż zwrócić uwagę na to, co powiedziała Ela. Dzięki za Waszą uwagę i to, że zostaliście z nami do końca. Przypominam, że nasz kanał i odcinki takie jak dzisiejsze są możliwe tylko dzięki Wam, naszym sponsorom. Jeśli chcecie dołączyć do grupy osób sponsorujących nasz kanał, to zapraszam na patronite.pl albo patreon.com. Każdy, każdy z naszych sponsorów, obojętnie na jakim poziomie się dołączy, otrzymuje w tej chwili od nas kartki pocztowe, na których widnieją zdjęcia oryginalne, unikalne, wyjątkowe, robione przez nas tylko i wyłącznie do tego celu, czyli nie są publikowane nigdzie indziej, wędrują tylko na kartkach pocztowych do Was. Is your name Cheriski? Cheriski. Ellen Cheriski. I just kind of, I, I anglicized it. I Americanized it.